you like those are the first time which is a typical motherfucker typical motherfucker you know that what is the mean typical motherfucker which which mm-hmm. motherfucker do i'm talking about you son of a bitch typical motherfucker son of a bitch Motherfucker. Dear customer, this call is from Amazon customer support. This is to notify you regarding your today's purchase on Amazon.com. You have been charged $349.99 on your Visa card. If you have made this purchase on your Amazon account and recognize it, then simply hang up and your order will be delivered to you. However, if you have not made any such transaction and want to cancel, then please press 1 and simply... Thank you for your response. We would now like to transfer you to a poll taker for just a few more questions. Please stay on the line. Thanks for getting connected to the Amazon support. This is James. How can I help you? Yes, what's, on, what's this about my Amazon account being charged? All right, ma'am. We have to go and check your Amazon account first. Just stay on the line. Okay. On the back well, we have already checked your Amazon account on my end. The reason why you are getting an automated call is just because there was an order has been placed on your Amazon account. So, did you try to make an order for Amazon e gift card for three hundred forty nine dollars today? No, no, not at all. And I'm just on my Amazon right now, and I don't see anything. Because the charge that we have just checked it was a fraudulent charge. And we have already kept your payment options on hold, right? But you can okay. see those charges in the next four hours from now. Because this is the reason we are not sure about the transaction that has been made by you. So we have just sent out an automated call so you can reach out to us as soon as possible. And that's what your call has been got connected to me right now. When you have okay, cool. Then group. just cancel that. So can you confirm, like, did you try to share your Amazon ID and password to any of your family or friends? No. Or you were just the one in order to use this account? Just this one guy, David, that he uh, he just needed help with some, you know, I don't know what it was, like some clothes or something. So I, I let I him understand. use it, but that was it. I understand, ma'am. Because right now we have suspected some kind of fraudulent activities going on your account. And we have just checked the gift card has been sent by the name of Sandra Wilson. Sandra so Wilson? Wilson? By the name of Sandra Wilson. God, I haven't, heard, I haven't thought about Sandra in years. She's a bitch, I'm man. Here. Sandra was a freaking bitch. I understand. So in that case, matter what we have to do now, we just need to get you connected to the Amazon security department right now. And we can just help you to cancel the transactions from our end. And if you're sure about the transaction that has not been made by you, we're just helping you to get the full refund from your account. Yeah, but it's probably that Sandra ding dong, so just cancel it. I will do that for you, ma'am. So could you confirm like generally how you are going to log into your account? Use your cell phone or a computer or laptop? My laptop. And apart from laptop, may I know the cell phone that you have right now? Is that be an iPhone or is that be an Android phone? Oh, it's just my landline. And apart from this line, landline, do you have any cell phone, matter? No, no. Okay. So can you go and turn on your laptop so we can just help you get you connected with the Amazon support? And we can just go and help you to cancel the transactions, right? So I believe I that you are on your laptop. Yeah, I already turned it on. I'm looking at my Amazon account and I don't see okay. anything. Uh, all right. So what we have to do now, ma'am, you need to just open the Google Chrome. So we can okay. just help you with the security app that will provide you the support from Amazon as well. So I believe that you are on the Google Chrome. This is Google.com, right? Yes, yes. So you need to put down there A as an Apple, N as a Nancy, Y as in yes, D as in delta, E as in echo, N as in Nancy, K as in kilo. It's anydesk.com. Now you have to press enter from your keyboard, okay? Okay. So this is the support app from Amazon. So what do you see now? 
It just says thank you for your download. Yes, it's downloaded now with a red box, and this is free of cost that won't be charged you for any service, okay? Okay. So what do you see now? Do you see any set of file has been popped up from the right bottom? Is emidus.exe. You see that? No, ma'am. Actually, it already it, it yeah. just shows a, it shows an address that came up. Okay, just help me out with the address. So that will be the cancellation ID for charges, ma'am. Okay, it's one six zero nine. Six hold one on, hold on. Just, just give us a second, ma'am. Hold on. Yes, help me out with the numbers. It's one zero nine. It's one. One six zero nine. Six one nine. Six one nine. Four one five. All right. It's one six zero nine six one nine four one five. Right, and madam, do you have the paper and pen so we can just go and write down this cancellation ID? Sure, the ID has been generated, yes, from the accounts department for canceling the charges. Okay, and you can see that on your screen where there's an address next to it, you will see there's a lock symbol. There's a lock with a key like symbol. You see that? Yes, I do. Tap on that lock, ma'am. Now, what do you see now? Do you see set password? I do. First of all, you need to write down the password on the paper so you can never forget that. And okay. this password will help you to always cancel the fraudulent charge. And we will be also notified you about the charges before getting you charged, right? Okay. So the password will be all in lowercase, Amazon, A-M-A-Z-O-N. Okay. All in Two. small letters. It's Amazon. Amazon 2H. That's correct, ma'am. Now you have to confirm the password from your end. It's Amazon 28. Then press on apply. Okay. Now what do you see now once the password has been applied? And you just confirm, ma'am, you haven't shared your information to any of your family or friends. I told so you, you I only shared it with that one guy, David. Yeah, okay. But I didn't share and it with Ho, Sandra. So is, that, so is that he who's trying to compromise your account? I don't know. The name of Sandra? Okay, you're not aware of that. I so don't know. Other, no, Sandra, uh, I told you Sandra's about, a bitch. I understand. Did I just hear David? Who called me David? David, go back to bed. I'm cutting the grass for you. I'm doing you a favor. Is that okay. okay? All right. No, that was David. Yeah. That's the only one that I've given my number to. Okay. <laughs> you never okay. gave me a number. Uh, okay. <laughs> hey, I, I can do what you can do, but let me cut the grass and I will ring. Madam really Peter. bad. <laughs> okay. Hello. Madam, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. What's up? Okay. So you need to just go and open your Amazon account. Okay. And you also confirm that you're not aware of the transaction that has been made today, right? So first of right. all, we can just go and show you the transaction first and we can just go and cancel that for you. Okay. Now, go and open your Amazon account. Um, it will be in the name of Chester. Okay. Well, okay, but it will be in the name. It will be in the name of my husband now. Okay. So, it won't be under your name? No, we do everything under my husband's name. Okay. As far as Amazon. Amazon got mad at me and canceled me. They like said I was abusing my services or whatever, so we have to use my husband's name. Uh, right inside shop, do you see your husband name? I believe that. Yes, I see that. Uh, we need to click on your husband name. What's this box that says yes or no? Uh, the right inside shop, do you see your husband name? Yeah. You need to but just what's this box that just came up? 
This air box. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. What am I looking for on Amazon? Am I looking at orders? Hello? Hold on, ma'am. You mother to me. Hello? Hello? Just hold on, ma'am. So, did you open your Amazon account? Yeah, I sure did, shithead. Now, what do you see now? Well, I see some Wheat and Shaw products that I purchased. There's the cloud kicker that I got a while back. Oh, there's the there's a birthday gift I got for T. Okay. Okay. Now, okay. Now, hold on, ma'am. Now, just open your Amazon account. I did. I'm on my Amazon account, dipshit. Okay. So, like from your doorstep? Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry about this now. Now, give a click on the back arrow on the top left. <laughs> What's that? Uh, Mr. Hina, you have now go and check your bank account. Did you receive a uh, hello? Hello, I'm on my Amazon account. And you're getting charged $11. Now go and check your like statement. Did you receive any pending charges on your bank account? There's nothing on Amazon, so it shouldn't be on my bank account. But I can go. I can try my bank account. Just go and check your bank account. Okay. And the 9020 RBC Harman, which bank does that belong to? Oh. I couldn't see. Oh, no, don't worry. Okay. It's still connected to my computer. So I'm just going to disconnect them. Hello, this is Amazon, a pre-authorized order for the amount of 1,400. Oh, no. Hello? Yeah, so you're connecting with Amazon, have a today. Yeah, I didn't order a Mac Pro, what's this shit about? All right, uh, may I have your email address so I can I'll pull up your details? I'll give you my email address, but I'm telling you, I'm sick and tired of these Amazon calls. So my email address is I A M A S T U P I D S C A M M E R at gmail dot com. I'm a stupid scammer. Gmail dot com. <laughs> Thank you for calling customer service. How can I help you? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, I got a message from you about an Apple iPhone Pro that's going to be delivered on Monday and charging $2,020. 20, $2, I didn't replace this order. Can you cancel this? $20. Can Apple you cancel this? Pro Max, right? Yes, yes. That's right. Okay. So, ma'am, when did you receive the email? Oh, just earlier today. Okay. Can I have your first name, last name, so that I can go ahead and pull up your information? Absolutely. First name is Ida. 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 IDA, yes. Last name is Do yeah, Him. Do Him. D O. Can you spell it? Uh -huh. D O dash H I M. Do Him. I didn't do it. You say D. D as in Daniel? You got it, shithead. 
Okay, and that? D, like Daniel, and then after that, what is that? O, like an Oscar. Uh huh. Then uh, a dash. And then him, H, I, M. I am. Yeah, him. Okay. All right, so ma'am, can you verify me your zip code? What is your current zip code? Sure, it's a 98072. I just moved. Okay. 98? 98076. Okay, 98076, you said, right? No, 072 should hit. Oh, 98072. Yes, you got it, Shahid. Okay, 72, right? Okay. All right. So, thank you for your verification. You just give me a quick moment. So, let me go ahead and pull out your information in my system, okay? Just be on the line. Stay on the line with me. Thank you. Oh, you got it. Just hurry up, Shahid. Okay. All right, so thank you for holding the line. So here, I can see in my system that there was a purchase made under your name, and the product name is Apple iPhone 15 Pro Max 256 GB, and the amounting is $2,020. Yeah, that's what it says and here. Yes, and it will be delivered shortly at the given address that is 49 Arcadia Code, Albany, New York, and the zip code is 12205. So, ma'am, oh, do you know the address? address? That's my old address. I've moved since then, Shahid. And the zip code is 12205. Is this your address? Arcadia no, no, I moved. New no, that's not my address. Okay. All right. So, ma'am, do you have Walmart account? No. Who would shop at Walmart? Oh, I guess a lot of people, but no, not me. I, I would not go through the indignity of shopping. Okay. So, ma'am, did you receive any verification code from us? Do you receive any verification code from us? Uh, no, it just says 26256 GB delivery by Monday amount charge $2,020. It doesn't give any kind of order number on here, should it? No, no, verification code. The code. No, it doesn't give any codes on here. That's what I'm telling you. It doesn't give any codes. All right. Okay. All right. So, well, in that case, I need to run a full security check on my system. So, please hold the line for a moment, okay? Okay. Hurry up, should it? All right, so thank you for holding the line. So as I have run a complete security check here, I can see that your account has been accessed from multiple locations and someone has been hacked your online banking and they have access to your personal and identity and your account was accessed from the state of Ohio, Texas, and New York. So ma'am. So oh, it's from Ohio, Texas? Ohio, Texas, and New York. So have you ever been there before? Um, I've been to New York. And it's okay. true what they say. It's it's just it's just wonderful there. It is the big apple. You guys everyone needs to take a bite of the big apple. Okay. All right, so okay, so ma'am, have you ever lost your wallet? And have you ever shared your personal information, like to your family members, to your friends? Oh, no, my family is horrible. I would never trust them. But I do have a boyfriend that I share everything with. Okay. Okay, so at the moment, so we don't know who's the culprit, okay? And so, no, and also here, there are multiple bank open under your name. Under so my name, you under Ida? The name of the bank. Under Ida Doom. Under, under your name. 
Oh. Like, there are multiple bank open under your name. So let me read it out for you. Like a Chase Bank, Bank of America, TD Bank, Wells Fargo, and PNC Bank. So, ma'am, are you the owner of all those bank accounts? Are you banking with all those bank accounts, ma'am? No, I don't bank with a bunch of bank accounts. I just bank with one. So, which bank you're banking with at the moment? I'm sorry, what's that shit here? Who am I banking with? Yes. Oh, yes. I bank with Bank of America. Okay, so you don't have others bank account, right? No, no. Why would I have all sorts of bank accounts? You only need one bank account, okay. you head. All right. So how how long are you banking with in Bank of America? Oh, about 35 years. Okay. All right. So the reason why I'm asking you the name of your bank is because I need to send an email to the fraudulent department of your bank as it is a pre-authorized order and fraudulent transaction that was not made by you. And also, and we are not the authorized person to ask you any of your personal information like your bank account number and the routing number. So I just need the name of the bank that, that I can fetch your phone and send the email to the regarding to, as it is the fraudulent order. Okay. Oh, yeah, just let them know, Bank of America, okay, she did? Okay, all right, yes. So now, in order to cancel this transaction, now let me go ahead and... Well, I have you on the phone. Can you email to the chickens, too? I was can trying to get me? some chickens, and some, I was trying to cancel some chickens. Can we do that, too, today? Sorry? I need to cancel some chickens that I got on the Amazon. Can we do that, too, today? Yes, ma'am, you can do that, but here, now, in order to cancel this transaction, what I'm going to do is, in order to do, to cancel this transaction, I'll go ahead and send an email to the fraudulent department of your bank headquarters, okay? Oh, okay. Just Sounds good, you did. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Cock -a -doodle -a -doo. All right, so thank you for holding the phone. I already sent an email to the fraudulent department of your bank headquarters. Now, I'll just go ahead and connect your call to the fraudulent department of your bank headquarters. So, and have words with them. And they are the full authorized person to cancel it this pre-authorized, a pre-authorized transaction, okay? Just be on the line. Let me go ahead and connect your call, okay? Just stay on the line, man. Okay. Thank you. Um, I've got them on mute. Um, don't, <laughs> don't keep, interesting. Don't go, don't, don't go too hard because I'm, I want the bank to call because you don't know Bank of America is going to call. Yeah. Okay. So don't, so don't go too hard on the chicken right now. Okay. I'll turn it oh, off. And, okay. and don't forget the cocks. The cocks. Dinky toy, yay! Hi, Dinky. Thank you for contacting Bank of America. This Hello? is Supervisor Martin Wright. Oh yeah, hi. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is this is Ida. I was just on the phone with um. I wasn't on the phone with my bank. This is Bank of America? Yes, this is Supervisor from the Bank of America Headquarters. Oh, I was so just calling I'm because somebody uh, emailed Ida. me about an Apple iPhone. Can you just repeat your name again? Absolutely. First name is Ida. Mm-hmm. Last name is Do Him. 
do him. Yes, you pronounce okay. it perfectly. So, Mrs. Ida, you are speaking on the speaker because I'm getting an echo. No, oh, no, it's probably my Bluetooth. I'm sorry about that. Please switch it off. Uh, I don't know how to do that quite yet. Just uh, the Bluetooth which you're having, just switch it off because I'm getting my voice double time. I know, that sucks, Maybe, doesn't uh, it? I tried, I'm trying to turn it off, but it just, it just doesn't want to change modes. It will be very difficult for the conversation to go ahead, Mrs. Adia. Just uh, if you have connected the Bluetooth from your cell phone, just switch it off or just switch off the Bluetooth device. Oh, hold on just a minute. Let me see. Does my voice changer work on this? Just a minute. Yeah, just check it, please. Unable to comply. Oh, Hello. The computer talking to me. I think that's my computer talking to me. It won't do it for me. Okay. Now... Mrs. Uh, Ida, the call has been transferred it's from Ida. Walmart. Sir, Ms. Can you please pronounce Ida. my please pronounce my name right? It's Ida. I'm extremely sorry, Ida, right? Ida, yes, Ida, do it. Okay, so Mrs. Ida, the call has been transferred from the Walmart customer support, and the email which I received from the department. They have mentioned that there is a transition of $2,020 under your name, and you are claiming that you have not done this, right? I sure did, shithead. I wouldn't spend $2,000 on a phone. Not even on a banana as phone seems, that vibrated just right. As this seems a case of fraudulent activity, this is the reason the call now has been connected to the fraudulent department of the Bank of America. Right on. So I will be assisting you regarding this matter. I will verify and check each and every information from the banking system. And if you have not done the transition, I will surely help you for the cancellation. Oh, good. Please do shit here. Now, before I, yeah, before I proceed further, Miss Ida, I just need to verify certain details as for the banking security protocols. So, Kindly verify me, your date of birth. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. That's uh, May 5th, 1957. Hmm. Okay, your zip code is 98072, right? You got that right, Shahid. Just like Sweet and Marie, last honey phone bee. Of the What's okay. that, Sweet Marie, honey bee? last phone number. My last one is what? Last phone Last phone number of the social security, please. Oh, that would be one, two, five, five. One, two, five, five. Okay. Now, Mrs. Ida, with the Bank of America, what type of account you are having? It is just a checking or saving also? I have a checking and then I have a savings account. And then I have a special savings account that is just made for my and dinky just, toy. For when I can afford my dinky toy. Very funny. Yeah, can you just verify me what was the last available balance in the checking and the saving? Oh, it was about probably, oh, in both of them, it was probably about 40000 Can you just um, provide me the individual, what could be the checking and what could be the saving? Oh, hold on just a minute. It looks like there's about 3000 in checking and about, mm -hmm. oh, about 30000 in savings. And... When you were having a special saving, that is also with bank. Oh, special savings! Yes, I have a special savings for my dinky toy, and that one is th that one's two thousand dollars. Okay, now the number which we are speaking, which is five one eight six one six something like that. Yeah, five eight. Right. Uh -huh. This is your cell phone, or this is your home? Yeah. Phone? Oh, it's my landline, shithead. Can you just provide me the cell phone number, Ms. Ida? Oh, I don't have a cell phone. I'm too old for the cell phones. I can't take those things. Word it's going to give me brain there cancer. Must some, there must be some cell phone number registered with the Bank of America. Can you just provide me the cell phone number, please? 
Oh, it's a 518-616-9158. Yeah, this is the same number which we are speaking right now, but this is a landline. I need to know any cell phone That's number. I told you, shithead. I'm old. What the fuck is wrong with you that I, you don't understand that I don't have a mobile cell phone? All right. So, this transition of... Uh, Two thousand and twenty dollars. That is a fraudulent transition. So we are canceling this transition. You do not need to worry. Your yes. account is safe. All right. And also, I need you to return the chickens. Can you return these chickens? This amount is still not debited, as this transition is under process. So we will be canceling this transition. Okay. I need you to cancel that, and then cancel the, and then I need to return the chickens. You need to return chicken. Yeah, I need to return the chickens. Where you need to return? Oh, I thought that was with you. That did not order the with you. Did not order the chickens with you. No. no. Is this Walmart? The Walmart. They have transferred the call to the bank headquarters. Oh, well, okay, but can you take care of the return of these chickens? Are you able to return these chickens? Or do you need to talk directly to Walmart? Pedro, where'd you go? Hello? Oh, he's gone. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi. What's going on? Hi, ma'am. This is Evelyn. I'm calling you from the Amazon customer service. Oh, How yeah. are you today? Thank you. It's yes. the same center, different uh, things. So if we want to charge them the same way. Hi, uh, yes. I wanted to find out, uh, can you track my order for me? Ma'am, can you please come closer? Because uh, I barely that's heard what you. He said. What do you can need? Can you please come closer to your phone? Uh, okay, yeah. Can you tell me, um, did my purple Punisher, did, did that get shipped out yet? Hello? Hi. Yes, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Did my purple Punisher go out yet? Did the chip? Ma'am, this call is regarding about the pre-authorized purchase that has been placed under your name for the Apple laptop and the Apple headphone. No, it's not Apple. $1,999. Yeah, that's about how much it was, but it was the purple Punisher. It wasn't the Apple one. It was the Punisher one. I'm sorry? It's super potent. It's the purple Punisher. It's not the Apple. It's like nine hundred dollars purple Punisher five thousand. Okay. So you didn't place any. Uh, you didn't place. I did. An I order for the Apple an order. and Apple hat one, right? I told you I placed an order for the purple Punisher, not the Apple. Uh, hello. Hello. Yes, hi. I'm calling you from the Amazon customer service. This is Steve. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Here, this call is to inform you that there is a package which has been placed in order by you from Amazon, and we have received a pre-authorized order from your Amazon account. So recently, did you place any order from Amazon? No. Well, yeah, I did. Uh, what's it for? I mean, I have a few orders out. It's, it's a, is that an Apple MacBook Pro and Apple AirPod, ma'am? No, no, I didn't order any of those. Uh-huh. So, ma'am, I hear, did you receive any text message or a call from our department regarding some order to verify? Uh, not about a MacBook, no. Okay. And here, ma'am, I can clearly see here, there is a process made of Apple MacBook Pro and Apple AirPods amounting to $1,499, and it will be delivered to you by tomorrow at your address, that is 
49 Arcadia Court Albany, New York, 12205. So are you familiar with this address? I don't live in Albany. Uh-huh. And here, ma'am, I can see here that there is a new Amazon account, which has been created with your credit card last week, and your cell phone number is registered with the account, and the order has been placed in the new account. So did you create a new account under the cell phone number? No, no. Just the one account. No. Uh-huh. So I believe this is your cell phone number that we are talking right now, right? You got it, shithead. Okay. And here, ma'am, uh... The new account has been logged in from the multiple devices and different locations. The locations are California, New Jersey, Ohio, Houston, Texas, Albany, New York, and Richmond, Iceland. So have you been to these addresses? No. No. And this is what we found some suspicious activities going on in your Amazon account. And if you're not the one who placed all this order, then this is a clear case of identity theft. So you know what is identity theft, right? I think so. Mm -hmm. So, well, uh, regarding about this case, can you please help me out with the current zip code? Oh, yes, it's 98007. Okay, and here, ma'am, um, did you share any of your personal information with anyone so that they can create all these activities under your name? What's that? Say that again, Shadhead. So, here, have you ever shared any of your personal information with anyone? Oh, yeah. Because so I can create a new account under your name? Just my friends. Oh, yes. Your friends? Yeah, my friends. I share all my stuff with my friends. Why you do that, ma'am? It's uh, personal information. You should have give, give it for, to you personally. No, they're my all friends, All right, don't share so. to anyone. They're my friends. Yes, your friends. Yeah, I know that you're friends. But then, ma'am, this is your personal information. And it's your, you should have to keep it secretly. Between you. Well, they're my friends. So here, ma'am, uh, have you ever lost any of your personal information with anyone? Yes. So have you ever connected yourself onto any open public Wi-Fi network? Yes. Ma'am, actually, now it is an open public Wi-Fi network, are not secure. Any hacker can access to your personal information. Oh, uh -oh. they can buy or sell a debit card through the cold dark web. Do you know what is dark web? No. Have you heard of um, okay. So can you cancel the so can, you, can you cancel the uh the okay. MacBook shit head? Can you just cancel that? Yes, I can do that, ma'am. Okay, mm -hmm. thank I you. I can do that. All right. And I here, ma'am. So here, ma'am, I have to have told you that this is a pre-authorized order, and it's a pre-transaction. So I can cancel the orders, but I cannot stop the transaction, because this is a pre-authorized order. I believe you know what this pre-authorized order is, right? Uh, well, yeah, but I didn't authorize it, so just cancel it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will cancel the order, but in order to stop the transaction, and in order to save God the $1,499, I will be connecting this call to your bank fraud event headquarters because this is concerned with the fraud teams which operate from the bank of headquarters where I'm going to connect this call of the to you so that okay. you can have a word of you can have quarter? a word with them and tell them that you're not you uh -huh. the tell quarter. them that you're not the one who placed this order right and tell tell them that okay so here in order to connect this call to your bank headquarters can you please help me out with a bank name uh, so that well, I can yeah, connect I this call to your bank it's on my account with you guys I'm sorry. It's the uh, bank I have on a on my Amazon account with Bank of America. It should be right there on my account with Amazon. Uh huh. My it's my checking account or my debit card that's on there. Uh huh. Mm hmm. So here, ma'am. All right. So that's all the line for a moment. I will be connecting this call to your bank of America headquarters so that you can have a word with them and tell them that you're not the one who placed all this order, okay? Yes, absolutely. Connect me to the headquarters. Mm. Okay.
Welcome to Bank of America. This call may be recorded. Para servicio en español, más que nueve. The line has been connected to the Bank of America, the Fraud and Investigation Department. This is Frank Walker. How may I help you? Uh, yes, I guess uh, I, Amazon called me, and I guess there was a purchase made for a MacBook, and I just need to cancel that from my Amazon account. Uh -huh. All right, I was surely going to help you out. Can you help me out with your first and your last name, miss? Absolutely. Uh, first name is Betty. Last name is Butlicker. I'm sorry, can you tell me the last name again? Yes, Butlicker. Just a moment, ma'am. Okay. Um... Just a moment, uh, let me just, if you don't mind, can you spell the last name for me? Yes, B-U-T-T, -T mm -hmm. hyphen, then a hyphen, mm -hmm. L-I-C-K-E-R, but liquor. Okay, but liquor, okay. Betty Butlaker. You got it, right? shithead. You got it, shithead. <laughs> All right, Bess. Thank you so much for confirming your name. Now, for the account access, for the security reason of your accounting, can you confirm me the social security number? Oh, I can give you the last four, shithead. It's 2267. Yeah. Thank you so much for confirmation, Miss. And can you confirm your date of birth? Yes, absolutely. That's May 15th, 1957. Okay. But you sound too young. Oh, aren't you kind? <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine, ma'am. Now, uh, as I have opened your accounting information here, as I have open it the information and I'm able to see there is a uh, two checking account two savings account one business account are been linked with us are you using all of this all account? of them yeah I should be hello how many checking accounts do oh, you I just have? have the one yes just one checking account that's a silly question but but as I am asking you, uh, the thing is that as I'm able to see, there is a two checking and a two savings account, which I'm able to see over here. And you're telling me that you have one checking account, right? Yeah, just one checking account and a savings account. And how many savings account do you have? Just one. Oh, okay. Come on. Isn't this bank of a, this is my bank, right? Okay. All right, ma'am. And how many credit cards do you have under your name with the uh, Bank of just America? Two. two credit cards, okay. And I believe that you have a debit card, right? Of course I have a debit card, shithead. How else would I pay for things? All right. Now, I want to check over here. Is there any fraud transaction has done on your name or not with the Bank of America. There better not be. Did you check Betty be, Butlicker? There should only be um, one account. The thing is that as I'm able to see that there is a one transaction which is a pre-authorized transaction for 1599. What is that Did for? you make this transaction? For uh, for sixteen hundred dollars. For some purchases of the electronic devices. Um, there were some electronic devices, but uh, but Amazon uh, said yeah. that there was a MacBook Pro that I didn't order though. I didn't order a MacBook Pro. Is that what it is? Okay. I don't know. I have to check into the email. Okay. You do that, Shane. Let me check the emails. All right, just just give me a moment, ma'am. You got it.
Yeah, I got one uh, email from the Amazon fraud department. Oh, okay. Stating that there is a purchase made on your name, Barry Butlaker. And uh, the purchase made for the MacBook Pro and the earports for 1599 and which is a pre-approved order which has a pre-authorized transactions on it okay well they can you, Did you authorize that? any transaction with uh you want me to cancel that yeah, transaction just cancel it. would you just cancel those um okay yeah i'll surely gonna help you out to cancel those transactions which are the fraud ones okay yeah please do and okay. is there any another transaction that you have uh did no, just that one, I think. Okay. And that's the one you and, got an email uh, for? Can you Amazon's tell me so what good is that the... they email my bank. <laughs> okay. Now, I just <laughs> wanted to check what is the last balance you have available in a checking account. Can you tell me? Uh, it's 3700 around 780 I think. Okay, fine. And in the savings account, what would be the available balance you have in it? Oh, that should be the around balance. That should be around fifty thousand. Okay. Don't worry, ma'am. I will surely gonna help you out, Ms. Butlaker. And uh, the thing is that there is a fraud going on with your accounting information, as I have received that update by the Amazon people, by the fraud department, and stating that that your information has been used in the New York. So have you ever been to the New York before? I've been to New York before. The New York. Okay. And uh, there is a one address which I'm able to see. It's 49 Arcadia Court, Albany, New York, 12205. No, I told the other shithead that's not my number. Or I think I told you that before. That's not my address. Mm. No, you haven't told me, ma'am. You oh, got connected no, to the Bank address. of America in a headquarters. <laughs> oh, that's right. I was talking to Scamazon okay. before. Now I'm talking to Bank of America. That's right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so now, ma'am, at, at this moment here, I'm going to help you out. Okay. Okay, shithead. So here, I think I have to run a security check on your accounting information. Okay. So that we can come to know that who is trying to misuse your information and from where and what they were exactly trying to do with your accounting information, okay? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Just give me a moment. And also I have to talk about this fraudulent charges with the seniors. Ooh, okay. So here I'm going to explain them. Ms. Butlaker, she don't know anything about this fraud transactions which is done under her name without her knowledge. So she wants to cancel those transactions and also she wants to block those fake accounts which is created under her name. Okay? Right, yes. Okay. And may I ask you since how long you're dealing with the Bank of America? Well, doesn't it show how long I've been there? It's been like over twenty years now. Sorry, it should show how long. Isn't am I am I aren't I talking to Bank of America? Ma'am, this is these are the security questions that we need to ask oh, to our okay. valuable customers. Well, that makes. I hope sense. you do understand me. Oh, of course I understand. <laughs> Because anyone can contact us. Anyone gonna say hi? This is Barry Budlaker. I want the accounting information. How could be this possible? We're gonna share the accounting information without confirming that whom we are talking with. Right. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, in order to run a security check, can you just confirm me the complete social security number, Miss? Uh, I can only give you the last four. Uh, I understand that, ma'am, but at this moment, we just need to make sure who is misusing your accounting information, and also we need to catch those imposters. So that is the main reason why we have to confirm it with you. Okay. I'm not verifying with you. You have to confirm it with me. Yeah, All right? Okay. I hope you do understand. Of course. I know I need to confirm the last four because you have the full one. So all you need is the last four. 
2267. That is the last four, right? That's the last four. You got it, shithead. Yes, you have shared that with me. And that should match your records. Just a moment. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? I said that should match your records. Mm -hmm. Just a moment, I'm checking it over here, ma'am. As you are talking with the Bank of America and the headquarters, okay, the Fraud and Investigation Department. Right. Okay. Just give me a moment. Let me talk to the seniors and I'll be right back to you, okay? okay Just stay connected have... with me. All right. Hold on, ma'am. Okay. What, Laker? Yes, I'm here. Thank you so much for holding the line. I appreciate your patience, ma'am. You're welcome. Now, the thing is that, uh-huh. As I have talked with the seniors, I have explained him the whole scenario, what is going on with your accounting information. There might be some of the imposters who is trying to misuse your information. So I would like to ask you a question. Have you ever lost any of the information in the past, like yes. debit card, credit card, social security number? No, not my social security number, but my credit cards. Um, I left I left my wallet on the roof, of, on the roof of my car a few months ago, and, and lost my wallet. You lost a wallet. Yeah. Okay. So. But any dum dum knows you don't moment. keep your social security card in your wallet, so I didn't lose that. Okay. So the thing is that at this moment, you you were just confirming with me that you have lost your uh, wallet in the past, right? Of course, I just said that shit. And I? it was about a month ago. So the thing is that, as you know that, Miss, nowadays that there are a lot of hackers are running all over the United States. You know that, right? Yeah, boy, there's scammers all over, right? So Some even pretend to be your bank. Uh, right. Yeah. Sorry? I said some scammers even, again? Some, some hackers even pretend to be your bank. Have you heard about those scammers? So, as you... Oh, uh, yes, I do. Yeah. So, the thing is that as you're trying to... As you're trying to say that, that I'm trying to scam you? No, I said you said there's hackers, right? Uh, yes, there's, there's there might be all over? some of the hackers. Yeah, there's some hackers that even pretend uh, yes, to be your bank. All over the United States. Yeah, but here, as you just told me, they were pretending like they were your bank. No, okay. some do. I heard. I heard. So that, that means I heard there's a lot of. You're hackers. raising a finger. You're raising a finger on me. Oh. That I could, uh, I'm trying to scam with you, right? Oh, you would. You don't sound like a scammer at all. You sound like you're right here in the good U.S. of A. I'm sure you're with Bank of America. Ma'am, the thing is that here we are not to make you believe whether is this a legitimate or some kind of a scam call or a prank call. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, just need to make sure before we proceed further. Can you confirm me the social security number, the full social? Oh, sure. Why not? Zero two zero seven seven. Just a moment. Mm hmm. Seven seven two two mm -hmm. six seven. Thank you so much for a confirmation. Just give me a moment, ma'am. Let me check that in our database.
Are you there, Ms. Bootlegger? I'm here, Shithead. Okay, uh, the thing is that as you share me a social security number that's not matching with our database. Well, that's because you're in India. So that is the wrong... But you're not with Bank of America. Sorry? You're in India. So why would I give you my social I'm in security India. number? You're a shitbag scammer. I'm sorry, can you repeat that again? You, what are you sorry about? You're sorry about being a shitbag scammer? You're not Bank of America, no, no, shithead. No, no, no. Get over yourself. You can barely speak English. Do you think anyone's going to believe oh, you're from really? Bank of America? Is that so? You think anyone's going to believe you? Is that so? <laughs> You've been calling me Betty Butlicker for the last <laughs> 20 minutes, you idiot. <laughs> I knew since beginning. You knew since the beginning? <laughs> <You bitch. laughs> of course you did. Of course you did. Hang up, shithead. You're terrible at this. Find a new job. Find a real job. Stop stealing from people. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> yeah, you like those are the first man, which is a typical motherfucker. Typical motherfucker. Do you know that? What is the mean typical motherfucker? Which bitch motherfucker? Do I'm talking about you, son of a bitch. Typical motherfucker. Son of a bitch. Motherfucker.